Good afternoon and welcome to the Asda Kent Quick Cricket Festival Gravesham District Finals here at the Gravesham Cricket Club. Um, in a few moments, the excited children behind me will be playing in their final match. There have been dozens of matches throughout the day. 13 schools have all taken part and we are now at the final. As you can see, it is a bit overcast, which has got rid of all the excuses for the fielders and the batsmen who would say that the sun's in their eyes. But it looks like everyone's having a fantastic time. Um, this event is run by Gravesham Borough Council and the sponsor is Asda and the, it's all under the auspices of the Kent Cricket Board. Now, this ground has been host to a very special cricket match which actually goes back before the Ashes and it was host to the first ever overseas touring cricket uh, team which played their third match here. It was the Australian Aboriginal team and they were utterly trounced I'm afraid by the uh, gentlemen of Kent 11 who beat them by an innings and 69 runs. Now they went on to play at Lords and they were led by the legendary, I've told he's a legend, King Cole um, his actual name, and I'm going to read this out, is Bripam Yaramin. Uh, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Now, he unfortunately died 11 days after that match um, of tuberculosis. Um, but um, everyone here looks fit and healthy, so I'm sure nothing quite as bad as that's going to happen again. Um, the rules of the cricket match here are slightly different to, the, to your usual match. And we prepared for you a little feature which will hopefully clarify all those rules. So now we're going to go over to, to those rules. Thank you very much. first ball is about to be delivered in uh, in this match and uh, there we go and I suppose that this is the team from uh, Holy Trinity who's uh, who's bowling it and uh, up in the air it goes uh, and it's gone for runs and the batsman signaling to his partner to stop they seem to communicate well Oh! And, and he's bowling. That's, that's a play of one point. Not a nice situation. Dragging the battle on there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Take your time. Four ball overs. This is the third. Oh, oh dear. And that's, that's out as well. I hope it doesn't dampen their spirits too much. There is a, a long way to go, of course. Absolutely. And this is the last ball of the first over, and that's uh, gone straight down there. Um, um, and we'll put the score up now. So that's one over, gone. And uh, we make the score 191. Now, we've made mistakes on these uh, scores before. Uh, bowling still from the same end. Um, and uh, second over, first ball, and that's a swing and a miss outside the leg stump there. Um, Obviously going to be very keen to uh, get some runs behind them now. And the second ball of the second over, very, very wide, and he's hit it over the uh, wicketkeeper's head, and that's oh, gone for there. one, and that'll, be, and that'll be all there is. Um, so, third ball of the second over. And that's been hit away for runs as well, just the one. Um, bit of, uh, bit of uh, restoration to the score now, climbing back up towards uh, uh, 200. And the last ball of the second over, driven, uh, well, pulled really, 
for one run through there, and that's, that's well, the end of that over. It 194. A well, it was a devastating uh, first over with the two wickets that always sets people back. 194. They started on 200, and they've uh, they've lost a couple of wickets there. So, um, uh, not uh, not perhaps the best of starts. Certainly not. I notice they're not, they're not wearing any uh, pads or anything. No, um, the ball's soft enough uh, not to do too much damage. Um, uh, here we go with the third over of, uh, of Bronte's innings and uh, Holy Trinity will be uh, hoping to keep them pegged back at, uh, at a little less than... Um, um, our cameraman racing around trying to get people out of the way as they uh, pack up their bags and uh, and go home, missing what could be quite an exciting final. Here we go, the first ball of the third over, and uh, that's very nicely played uh, um, off the back foot, but no run. So, uh, and uh, the next delivery, quicker, oh, good and strike. Uh, gone straight past the through, field, that's gone for one and two. And, and that will be and that will be everything that they uh, they want or can get. Now that one's uh, not signalled a wide. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't scored as a wide. Uh, we've had uh, we've had some experience of that uh, outside the off stump. That is signalled a wide, so that's two runs for that. So we are. Definitely back on on par, and that's the end of the third over. Now two girls have to play in each side uh, at least as a minimum. So, um, and this is one of uh, Holy Trinity's bowlers now running into bowl. It was quite successful yeah. in the semi-final, if I uh, recall correctly. So they can bowl overarm or underarm. Uh, yes, ideally overarm, but they allow underarm in this uh, in this tournament. Uh, it's, a, it's a local rule. Um, how about there when it was it was close to a roll, you might say? This, uh, oh, 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 that's a very very good hit, very firmly struck, and uh, there'll be runs in that uh, too. Um, they're holding it two, and two will be all they'll get. Uh, they're, now, they're now in the positive area. I make it 202, but um, we'll have to see. Um, missed that one. He's played a little early, uh, played over a, a slow delivery outside the off stump. Well, these things happen. Um, and that is, in fact, the end of the fourth over. So the halfway stage in the innings, uh, they're back. In, uh, in the terms of um, the positive, they've now, um, they've now changed batsmen again. Uh, every two overs the batsmen change, so their uh, new batsman will be facing the new bowler, who is um, another of the uh, young ladies uh, on the... On Holy Trinity side and Bronte batsman. This, now this young man looks as if he's a, a left-hander. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, oh no, no, he's changed his mind. <laughs> he's uh, he's now looks like he's a right-hander. Well, multi-talented. Uh, just trying to fool the commentator. <laughs> and uh, that's a slow delivery, and that's gone through square leg, and that will be one run. Um, She's choosing not to take a run up, perhaps for accuracy uh, rather could than be, power. Yeah, that's a, got a fair oh, loop on it, and that that's that's a mighty hit over towards uh, our direction. Um, that might have hit the wall. And that's the third run being taken there. Oh, ho, 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 just in. Strong batting, but strong fielding. Now, that one almost didn't reach the stumps. Right, I think this is the last ball of the uh, fifth over. Um, the overs flash by at four balls and over, don't they? It's uh, mm. it's quite something. 
So here we go from a standing start to our right-handed left-hander. <laughs> and he's just about ah. managed to time that, but uh, the bowl it's not on gone that. for any runs. And uh, they, they're now changing ends because it is uh, the last ball of the fifth over. So we start the sixth over with the new bowler quite rapid straight down the offside and it's been signalled a wide. Um, there's two runs for that and our tally now goes to uh, 211. That was pretty wide but not given as a wide. Um, the wide doesn't count as an extra ball in this particular game and I do believe that's the sun breaking through there. That's gone a long nice way. Strike. That's gone a long way. Um, and he just got to the they're ball. They're running to th for the fourth. Was that four? They, I think it was three. I think that was three. They might have squeezed the, the fourth out of it if they'd gone for it, but they bang it safe. And again, that goes through to the wicketkeeper over the over the stumps there. Um, oh, that's nice. Congratulating each other there. I think they can be proud of that. Right. And. Uh, Um, that means the last pair coming to the wicket now for the, uh, the last two overs of the innings. Now, I believe Trinity scored 2 2 7 in their last game. Something like that. Um, that's uh, wide down the leg side, but not called a wide. Um, That must surely uh, constitute a wide. No, perhaps not. Well, the umpire's decision is final on that. Um, they fished at that, but missed it. Um, and that very definitely is the sun coming out. Um, so do you think you've been redeemed? You've redeemed yourself there? Possibly, possibly. He looks the part, this bowler. Yeah, well that was the end of that over. Um, I'm sure they'll be glad to see the back of him. Uh, but this <laughs> this is quite a quick bowler coming up now. Uh, oh, they I didn't lay bat on, uh, on this young man uh, in the earlier innings we saw in the previous match. Uh, that's again a little wide of the off stump, but uh, the umpire seems unmoved. Uh, can't always tell. The umpires keep score as well, so they don't need to make the signals uh, all the time, and uh, that can mean we miss some things from time to time. However, oh, oh did, she get, uh, the, did she make contact with that? She did she made? Uh, but square leg fielded that quite reasonably well. So, um, so I believe this bowler and wicket uh, keeper combination uh, they they acted as the, the batting pair. In the semi-final. Ah. Oh, a neat little edge, um, which went virtually nowhere. Um, not a lot of back lift there, I think it would be fair <laughs> to say. Um, now, a long run up, uh, eases to the wicket now. Right arm over, and I'm afraid it did not lay a bat on it again. And that is, as they say, that. Um, okay. Seems like she had a lot of fun. Played quite defensively. Yes. Wonder what the score was. <laughs> well, what do we make it? Uh, well, we make it 216. So. It's quite exciting, really, that when the match finishes, um, we don't really know what the score is, so we get to find out ourselves. That's right. Yeah. We'll, we'll try and keep tabs on it. As I say, the, the actual problem is um, that uh, now this this will be uh, Holy Trinity playing now, um, and the score will go back to, to 200. I think I'm right in saying. And um, Bronte, we make it score to 216. Um, a little huddle on the field. Um, as the uh, Bronte 
side determine their bowling order and uh, this is the time you really need to go to a commercial break but we uh, we haven't <laughs> sold any commercials so <laughs> I'm surprised Aston didn't provide something for us. Well, we gave we gave Asda a commercial for being such nice chaps and sponsoring this team, the competition. They they spend um, a large sum of money on this nationally. Um, they're the national sponsors. So they sponsor the uh, English Cricket Board, the ECB, the England and Wales Cricket Board, uh, still ECB. Um, and uh, I suppose you you have to say. Um, yes, please behind the bar. Preparing the bar to be open now. That that's, uh, oh, yeah. sounds sounds very good to me. Although uh, obviously uh, just soft drinks uh, so for us. Always the professional we, brand, we, We've been working all day. Um, um, I would like to thank Asda myself personally, if I if I may. Yeah, um, you're, you're after some free shopping. Why? Yeah. Provided me with a pallet of strawberries. Bats is ready. The bowl is ready. Uh, the field is being set, and the field is. Uh, a deepish mid off, uh, mid on, uh, a mid wicket, square leg, backward of square. I have to be honest, point, I have no idea. Cover, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the first ball. Uh, oh, back, that's very that's risky. Oh, that was dear. a very, very risky signal, single, and uh, and the bowler had no, no problem in um, in in uh, dispatching that one. Um, Good news for Bronte. And uh, this young lady batting now uh, has uh, has got a lot on her plate um, with her partner run out there, uh, runs in and bowls, and uh, plays that through to mid on, and this could be an oh, run out, and and it is, wow. it is indeed. The umpire gives that out, and oh, that's uh, precisely uh, the same start. To well, in fact, slightly worse. Um, Extraordinary. Another delivery. That one's hit well over, uh, over mid on, and they run one, they run two, and that's all there'll be. So uh, they're 18 arrears at the end of the first over. Um, Are they coming? Oh no. <laughs> no, they're changing ends now. Uh, um, and we wait patiently for the start of the second over. Um, Quite a useful delivery. Outside the off stump, um, play and a miss. But, uh, wide of the uh, off stump again. Uh, the field is a little tighter to uh, uh, to the young lady. Um, oh, and that's up in the air and caught by the wicket keeper. Splendidly caught. Uh, Never easy those catches, um, and that takes them back to 187. Um, yeah, that, that catch uh, having to run a little bit to his left, which is leg side, uh, not um, not what uh, you expect to have to do very often as a wicket keeper in this kind of cricket. Um, uh, they do look very strong in the field. They do, um, and uh, and Bronte's 216 is looking quite challenging, uh, with Holy Trinity now reduced to 187, mm. and uh, and still six overs to go. Anybody's game, of course. Um, and we're only assuming that 216 is in fact what they scored. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best we can do. I keep stressing that. Uh, um, oh, a lovely that, shot! A lovely yeah. shot! No, that, uh, Stopped by the crowd there. One and a throw in from. Oh. Slight knock to the uh, deep place square leg. Um, well that's uh, a run. Sorry, change the wickets there. That's a good shot. And that's going to be. That's got to be three two, at least. Two. Really. They may, may get a no, third. No, they no. don't. Um, Again, the strong fielding, I think. Uh, kept it down. That's just a, a little edge there, but went straight to ground. <gasps> oh, oh, that's a very, very fine effort. Very fine effort for a catch there by the wicketkeeper. 
a full stretch uh, to his right, uh, stuck out a right hand and just failed to grasp it. Um, got to, we've got to congratulate that uh, commitment. That was a very, very good uh, thing. That's um, the end of the over. Reorganisation, I think, going on. Well, the field has changed a bit, I think, because of uh, the uh, the bowler has come out of a fielding position which was crucial to them. And he's pitched that a little wide, maybe moved a bit. Um, difficult to tell from this angle. We're side on to the pitch. So I'm just trying to get a look through that camera there, and. Uh, and through to the keeper, who's doing uh, a lot of work, a lot of splendid work mm. too. Um, a very handy cricketer in the making there. And the third ball of this over still to score. And that's oh. straight up in the air. Could be caught. I'm afraid it is. It is caught. caught. It is caught. Very well caught. And, um, well, that's what pressure brings, as they say. Um, that's uh, three balls of this over gone. The last one coming up. And uh, five wicket, five runs lost. Oh, uh, dangerous. He went for the run and then ran back again. And that's half the innings gone. Um, 185 uh, is the score as we make it with the five runs lost there for the wicket. Um, so the score for them, unfortunately, is heading down. The 217 would be the score needed to win. And here we are, the start of the fifth over. Um, and that just trickles out on the onside. Uh, field has come in now. There's uh, more or less a silly mid-on and a silly mid-off, as well as a deep mid-off. Square leg, just forward of square, and another backward of square. So it's sort of like a wide mid-wicket. Have been a lifelong cricket fan, Grant? Well, not yet. <laughs> I have heard of some of the terms you're using, I'm proud to say. Well, I could be making them up. I probably am. Just just to annoy you, Dan, I'm just making up fielding positions. Oh dear. Oh, and that's out. <laughs> and that's another catch, and uh, this innings is. Well falling apart, I think he's not putting it too strongly. Um, is that the end of the over? Going over square, red leg, and uh, another run there. But again, uh, the ball came back very quickly. Yeah, Got one run just the one it. run. The fielding has been very, very good in this innings, um, and uh, it seems to me that uh, Holy Trinity have uh, really got their backs to the wall here. They just can't hit the ball far enough away from the fielders to. Uh, to score the runs they need to do. Um, it's been a struggle, the batting is changing. Another over gone by. That's the sixth over, so the last pair will be coming to the wicket very shortly. Now, this is the, this is the, the, uh, this is the pair that I was talking about before, the, um, the guys that were very good as a, a bowler. Oh, this is the bowling and keeper combination, and uh, they're reunited now on the field for the last two overs. Um, and this is really make or break. Uh, they. They do actually need to score very heavily. Um, uh, still, um, 19 runs to in the in arrears, in fact, um, which is the worst position either side has been in in the match. Right arm over the wicket, a firm hit all along. Oh, the there's indecision. Back. There's indecision, but I no, not out. No. The umpire says not out. Uh, the wicket not hit in time. So. Uh, Another run, 
you know, they were they they were right to go for it. They they've got it all to play for. They really do need to. Well, there's take nothing to risks. lose, indeed. Nothing to lose. Um, that uh, that one didn't go to plan. Solid hit. Oh, oh went through the fielder there. there. Um, two, three, really going for it. it. Scored well. How much strategy is there in uh, choosing the order in which people bat and, and indeed bowl? Well, less so in this. Um, although there may be some tactical manoeuvres, um, it's less important than this because everybody bats for two overs, every every pair bats for two overs. Yeah, yeah. So um, I suppose it might be considered to be poor luck if you happen to be batting in a, in a pair of particularly strong batsmen because you might not actually get a go if you run in enough singles and try and hold the strike. But uh, that doesn't seem to have happened. Uh, as we we, uh, we go now into the last over. It's um, a couple more runs there. But uh, this does look a forlorn and lost yes. cause now for uh, Holy Trinity. It looks like it would be an achievement if they managed to uh, even get back into back into plus yes. figures it would be well actually with only what two balls left of the innings um, it's really not going to go anywhere from here I don't think um, I think the umpire may be considering that that's uh, not worth calling a wide now up and there'll be uh, at least two here could, could a dirty player at this point throw wides? Well, they'd get extra deliveries in the last over, so uh, uh, it's, it's not really uh, a way of, uh, of cheating. Um, and even still, it looks like there's a great deal of sportsmanship out there. Oh, and that's coming straight that's, at us. <laughs> that's on the roof of the pavilion. Um, that's now, this is interesting. They're two, continuing to run. Three, they signalled six. I see. They've actually signalled six, so I've seen a six. It's on the roof. Um, that was the last ball of the innings. Both sides are happy uh, in that uh, one has hit a, hit a six and lost the ball, and uh, the winning side celebrates on the pitch. Well, what a way to go. Absolutely. Splendid. Uh, if you're going to lose a match, score a six uh, off the last ball. We're... Um, we're not absolutely convinced that that was the score, but we are absolutely convinced of who is the um, who is the winner of this game. Right, and, uh, there. and we're going to go out now, or you are, and uh, and help in the presentation ceremonies. Um, uh, okay. Well, that was rather exciting, I have to say. Uh, uncanny. Anyway, this is in, in its very final knockings now. I'll switch the, uh, this all on for you. Uh, the good, good. presentation. So uh, I think there's so one more presentation to go. Well, we thought we'd cover the. Yeah, uh, the there three yeah. So we're yeah, don't go anywhere right. because what we always do, and you've seen them at, uh, you've seen them at uh, Wembley, kind of we suddenly go that and the captain and go, lift up the trophy. And you'll put your hands in there, like that, okay? So when we go, go one, two, three, we have a picture. We've got to get the picture right. See what, guys? Can you all turn around? Oh, we've got to turn around the wrong way. Hang on, this way. And we're going to use Max Cameron. Ryan Cameraman there doing some. Yeah, it'll be on TV. Yeah, stand by. We'll get ready. Get ready. You've got to get the timing right. Histrionics, perhaps. You've got to get the timing right. What's your. Well, um. We're waiting for the.
a little bit of delay here while they're setting up the uh, the things. Um, I'm not absolutely certain that that microphone is on out there. And uh, people milling around for the uh, uh, Come on, come over, children. Over you come. Uh, David Turner. Merrily yelling people away. A round of applause for the, uh, the players. Uh, from the winners to the losers, in fact, there. Um, and uh, that's it. Everyone assembling. And then the camera will see you all, obviously. David Turner. Yeah, directing traffic. Okay, well here we are, end of another great tournament and another great final. And I'm going to ask uh, the Mayor of Gresham, Councillor Derek Sales, and the Mayoress, Pam Sales, to make the presentations of the three awards that we have. But before I do that, I'd just like to make one or two comments, partly to all the adults here, but as, uh, to the youngsters as well. First of all, we clearly... We've held this event for many years, and we've held it for many years here. And uh, I think we all ought to put our hands together and thank the Gravesend Cricket Club and all the umpires and scorers, and especially you youngsters, you ought to think of the teachers who've given up their time and their to support you and, and uh, take part. And then another comment uh, to all the mums and dads is that, you know, we had 130 youngsters today uh, running about. And that means we're encouraging youngsters to take exercise, which means they grow strong and they keep fit. And that, that's wonderful in itself. And of course, they're playing cricket. And we hope that over the next year or two, many of them will stay in cricket, become enthused about cricket, and assure that we're going to have club cricket in Kent for many years to come, because you are the next generation of club cricketers. And around Kent, playing quick cricket, there will be at least two or three youngsters your age who, in a number of years' time, could go on and become the best cricketers in Kent and become professional players and play for, play for Kent itself. So it all starts here having great fun. And if you become great at cricketers, well, that's, that's an added, added bonus. But did you all enjoy yourselves? Yes. Great. You really did. And now, you see, because you played so well, the sun's come out. See, if you hadn't played very well, the sun wouldn't have come out. Okay, so we're going to now ask uh, the mayor to make the presentations. And the first presentation is what we call uh, the Fair Play uh, Award to a team that we all think actually played in great spirit, played in the, in the best spirit of cricket, the way we love to see it played. And the winner of that, when we find here comes the trophy, there we are, uh, this is the mayor, and that goes to St. John's. Who's coming up from there? Here comes St. John's. Shake hands. There we are. I'm going to face this way so you have a nice picture, you see. There we go. Okay. Now, the runners-up, there always has to be a winner and a runners-up, doesn't there? It's the same. But didn't you both did brilliantly to get to the final. But the runners-up on this occasion were Holy Trinity. And so we're going to give now... Two, two things now. We're going to ask the, the captain to come up, but you can all shake the mayor's hand. And because you're now, you know, at the top end of the school, you're big boys, you've got to shake hands like big boys. It's not sort of... Okay, can you do that for me? A real... Okay, here we go. So we give that to the mayor, and he's going to make the presentation. Well done, Well done. We'll do it at the end. Do it at the end. Do it at the end. Well, nice touch that, uh, and the uh, some of the winners getting mixed up with the uh, runners up there. <laughs> um, so we're getting another go. Not yet. Uh, it's a cry. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, 
that's quite a scrum going on there. Uh, losing side, some photographs for the uh, for the local papers and uh, people. Um, um, they're getting some of the, uh, the pictures there. The mayoress uh, Pamela Sales and uh, the mayor just slightly, uh, well, dare, dare I say, dwarfed by uh, <laughs> uh, some of the, the young players. Um, How old are the young players? Um, up to 11, so uh, uh, there are some uh, strapping young lads there. Uh, and it isn't even on a hill, it's quite flat here. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now we move to the, there we are, uh, Mr. Mayor. Don't crowd, you're rushing forward, aren't you? <laughs> okay, now we're going to make the presentation to, now let's get this right, to Bronte School, who are the 2013 Gravesham Quick Cricket Champions. Transmitter is uh, from down there on the pitch, it's being interfered with I think, by a number of people walking in front of it. Um, I suppose that's only to be expected when people are actually walking around. Can't believe the weather has suddenly changed. That's, that's almost uh, uncanny. Anyway, this is in, in its very final knockings now. The uh, uh, with, with the presentation. Uh, I think there's one more presentation to go. No, there are three presentations. Okay, don't go it. anywhere because what we always do, and you've seen them at, uh, you've seen them at uh, Wembley, kind of we suddenly go that and the captain goes, lift up the trophy. And you'll put your hands in there, like that, okay? So when we go, we go one, two, three, we have a picture. We've got to get the picture right. Can you all guys, can you all turn around? Oh, we've got to turn around the wrong way. Hang on, this way. This way. Our own cameraman there uh, doing some... Uh, yeah, it'll be on TV. Yeah, stand Some by. Get ready. Get ready. You've got to get the timing right. Histrionics, perhaps. You've got to get the timing right. What's your name? Manuel. Manuel. Okay. Stand by. Stand by. We're all ready. All ready. Right. Stand by. Okay. When I say one, two, three, then you hold up the trophy. You say we are the champions. You'll put your hands up in the air. Okay. Right. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> Well, that was the picture worth waiting for. Um, round of applause from everybody on the ground. And uh, with that, uh, Dan, I think that's, uh, that concludes our coverage of the uh, Gravesham uh, cricket. And um, uh, we say good night. Good night. Good night.